Hey Mario! What is this guy doing? He's trying to copy some popular streamer! Of course he is, Luigi! He's trying to copy us so he can be more popular! That's what YouTube is nowadays! You're supposed to... You're supposed to copy the big guys so you can be like the other big guys! But Mario! That's what we always do! That's what we've been doing for years! We're trying to be like comic book heroes! Yeah, whatever, we're back. <laughs> Alright, so hello there everybody and welcome back to more Kirby's Return to Dreamland. So last time, we cleared Cookie Country, getting all the energy spheres, and we got the ores back from Wispy Woods. EX. Yeah, I should really start doing calling this uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland EX, because that's what this is. <laughs> so today, we're going to, well, the World 2, and you all know what the World 2 is. Well, judging from all the yellows and the browns and the junk, it's a desert world. Yep, the, the classic Nintendo ch touch never reveals, never ceases to amaze me. Anyway, we have a new ability debuting in this game. We have Whip Kirby. So, hold on to your Indiana Jones hat, because all whip attacks can grab items. So by repeatedly pressing the one button, you can do all sorts of whip attacks. Of sorts that you can just you know basically destroy all enemies with by holding down of uh, the whip you can actually uh, grab items as well which I'll show in a little bit of course and stuff <laughs> so anyway uh, let's go into this room to demonstrate all right so you see all these gordos you can't even touch that one up but with whip you can so Whip is pretty useful in that regard. Um, not that this world doesn't really, like, or not that this whip, or not that this world uses whip to, uh, any given advantage, though. Because you really only, uh, you don't technically need whip for anything. But, you know, it's a nice ability to have, and this is, like, the one level that shows up that, or this is, like, the one part that, uh, shows off what whip can do. So, yeah. It's a pretty good ability. It's a pretty good ability. Uh, I don't really use it that much, but whip is all right. But anyway, now let's get back to the uh, the speed running uh, part and just basically kill these boars from Dream Dreamland Two. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I, I only remember these uh, boar enemies from uh, Kirby's Dreamland Two, like the Game Boy game, the one that I have yet to play, or the one that I have played. Like, a long time ago, but I'd never beaten... <laughs> or rather, gotten the good ending. I guess. But, uh... Yeah, you need fire in order to, well, light that cannon. And, you know, just basically blast off in time. To, uh, get that thing. <laughs> I make things ultra-specific. No, wait. Actually, I don't need, uh, needle, actually. Thank you. I don't need needle, actually. But, I'm just showing you that it's there. Because, well, as I've recently seen, um, fire is a really good ability for speedrunning. As I clearly demonstrated. <laughs> okay, I actually have a funny story about this. Uh, yeah, in part three. I know, right? It's crazy. But, um, so, I actually recorded, uh, the first world of Kirby's Return to Dreamland before, right? Or Kirby's Return to Dreamland EX, right? For the Let's Play, right? So, everything was all good. I thought my commentary was pretty good. I thought, you know, everything went well. Until the moment that I realized that I recorded in composite quality rather than as video quality like I normally do in order to make things just a little bit more intelligible or a little bit more tele- or a little bit clearer, let's just say that. So, uh, I had to basically speedrun a new file of Kirby's Return to Dreamland in order to even, you know, record th this. I sped ran it all in one night. <laughs> it was a long night. But I did it. <laughs> Jeez. And worst, this game basically auto-saves. And I don't have the patience. I don't have the patience to, you know, I don't have the patience to, you know, complete another, you know, file just to get this, just to get to where I'm at. So, hope you'll forgive me 
I do have my, uh... I do have my first file, though, that, you know, I can fall back upon, just in case. Though, but... Yeah. At least I have that. Anyway, uh, we got uh, a new ability here. We got Parasol. So, you can block falling objects with the Parasol. You can also do a lot of Parasol techniques, like the Parasol Drill, which actually does a lot of damage, believe it or not. In fact, I'll actually show it off with this uh, mini-boss that we got coming up right here. So, I think this is... Yeah, Bonkers EX. So, yeah, Bonkers is known for one thing and one thing only. The hammer ability. So, you'll want him. Well, not because of the fact that, you know, Hammer is amazing. It's the fact that, you know, ow. I'm doing not good. <laughs> okay, now I'm doing good because I'm beating him. Because Bonkers gives out the Hammer ability, and you're gonna need it. Perfect excuse. But in actuality, actually, uh, the speedrun I was looking up, uh, actually states that you don't really, you don't even need hammer for this. All you really have to do is just to use the fire dash attack and then, bam, you're done. <laughs> you got that ability. Or you got that, you know, energy sphere. So, yeah. Pretty good. Is good! Alright. So now with the goal game again, I get one. Um, I'm not sure if this is true or not. But... Apparently, in uh, Kirby's Adventure, or Nightmare in Dreamland, whatever you want to call it, um, in the goal game, if you get 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 on the goal game, you'll get yourself uh, 30 extra lives. And ooh, subgame 1 unlocked, so we got the Ninja Dojo subgame. So, that's cool. I'll show that off later. Um, so anyway, uh, back to what I was saying. Um... If you get seven six five four three two one on the uh, on the goal game, you get thirty extra lives, and I think this is also true for Return to Dreamland as well. And oh geez, this sleep just five more minutes, please. Just let me sleep. If you was if you must wake me, shake me. Z z z z's. Upon swallowing sleep, early wake up. <laughs> yep. Sleep is just basically the troll ability of this game. Uh, it's pretty recommended that you don't get it when you're on potentially dangerous situations. <laughs> just don't get it. But anyway, uh, this ability is new and also old at the same time. This is water, Kirby. Look out, you're a water wizard! <laughs> Ride the waves and cool down hot flames. Your water gun is supercharged, too. So, believe it or not, this ability actually made it into the uh, Kirby anime first, which was, I think, back in 2003. Uh, the Kirby anime, which is called Kirby Right Back At Ya, or Kirby at the Stars in Japan. Um, I believe in one of the final episodes, uh, Kirby actually transformed into Water Kirby. And sure enough, they actually made this ability canon. So, with Water Kirby, you can, you know, just basically slide like this. You can do a little bit of surfing attack like that. And while you're swimming in water, uh, normally you can press 1 in order to unleash a little bit of a water gun. But with Water Kirby, your water gun gets supercharged. So, yeah. It can take care of enemies in the water really easily. So, yeah. It's good. It's a good one. It's a good one, water is. But anyway, uh, we have another new ability right here. Got stone. Crustings into bits. So basically all you can do is just to basically jump in midair and press 1 to transform into, you know, various stones. There's all sorts of, you know, stones that Kirby can transform into. Like that one, he can transform into three of his animal friends from Kirby's Dreamland 2. Uh, I believe their names are Rick, Kine, and Koo. And, uh, oh, I, I think I just saw Wham Bam Rock from Superstar. So, of course, if you know, uh, Kirby's stone attack from, uh, Super Smash Bros. Whoa! Oh my god, that's Dragoon! <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. 
I never seen that before. Oh my god. That was so good. <laughs> oh, oh, I got it again. <laughs> I got it again. Oh my god. Yeah, sometimes Kirby will transform into like really, really rare stuff. Like, I know in Superstar, I know in Superstar he like transforms it. Kirby transforms into Samus from Metroid. And <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing! Like anything Kirby Air Ride, I approve of. <laughs> Just anything Kirby Air Ride, because again, I want to, I want to let's play that game someday, even though it's a racing game, and I want to spend like 500 parts in City Trial. <laughs> oh my god. Also, what if I could let's play Smash Run like a whole lot or stream Smash Run? Because that would be a thing I would do. Besides, it leaves time for me to fully charge at Pokestop. Because Pokemon Go has been a thing. See? There there they are. Uh, the Hamster Rick, the uh, Fish Kind, the... Uh, this is gonna be really awkward for a thumbnail. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna actually... <laughs> oh, man. That's cool. Okay, uh, get that... No. I'm too late on the 1-Up. <laughs> yeah, not that I don't need it, of course. I have 13 lives. Um, but then again, I do kind of need it. Because, you know, they're extra lives. You can't, you can't exactly turn them down. You just can't. It's... Yeah. Anyway, let's kill these guys. And go in here. Because, I believe... Uh, yeah, this one. You have to press the right one. You have to blow up the right bomb block in order to get that energy sphere. Get that wrong, and you have those, have that Gordo and those fishes coming at you. So, yeah. Be the way. Uh, I believe we have two energy spheres left, and if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, like a super ability uh, appears in this level, which means which means I'm gonna have to be very careful. <laughs> Yeah, get out of here, Kaboo. You, we don't need you. I only need you to tell me the future. Okay. Alright, so beware the fire coming at these things. Alright, good. Alright, you just basically want to be really, really careful. Because again, this is extra mode. You don't want to be uh, losing your health all that much. And, oh, there it is. Alright, so this super ability is... Flare Beam. So, Flare Beam is really cool. I really like this. So basically, you create a little bit of an energy ball, and you basically can guide it around with the control with the control pad. Simple as that. A super ability you can control as you like. Gather electricity into a ball and move it around at will. Now that's power. I like looking up the lore. <laughs> Jeez. It's my inner planet Robobot at work. And of course you can press 2 to cancel it out. So anyway, uh, I know you don't technically need it for... Don't technically need the super ability for this section. But I like to have it. Because it gets you nice goodies. Like all these coins and a Maxim Tomato if you need it. And of course Maxim Tomatoes, they restore your health to full capacity. So that's good. All right, do this, and get all the coins. Get all the coins, and that little portal to another dimension. So, yeah, just do it. I like his little jester hat. I like his, like, jester hat. It's like a big buffed up version of the beam ability, which it is. And it obviously is too, so yeah. Kirby in his little inner tube. <laughs> like, oh god! Ah! <laughs> oh. Jeez. So thankfully you don't have to, well, if you die in the, uh, dimension world, I guess. I should call it that, the dimension world. Um, if you die in the dimension world, it doesn't boot you back to the world, the, it doesn't boot you back to the, uh, world map. Instead, it boots you back to the place where you entered into the dimension. So, yeah. And while, believe it or not, that's actually the second time that I regained the life that I lost. 
Jeez. That's gonna be... That might be a trend. But who knows? Who knows if it's ever going to be a trend or not. But either way, as you would guess, uh, the stars that you spit out in the water, they move slower. So, that gives it more time to basically clear every obstacle in your path. Even if it's up... Even if the stars are obstructed by a little bit of water, it's still incredibly useful in that regard. So, yeah. It's pretty good. Wow. Push back that wall, no problem. Alright. Let's see. What do I want? Uh, I want Parasol this time. Because Parasol is good. Alright. So, this next Sphere Doomer is a different kind. The Red Sphere Doomer is, as you would guess, from the red coloring. It likes to spew fire. You can actually get the fire ability from uh, the Red Sphere Doomer's uh, little energy balls that it likes to spit out. Now, you'll want to watch out for when it gets down to like half its health. Because it's going to charge at you with that little flame body of his, and uh, of course I didn't look out for it. And of course there goes my ability. Of course. And of course, just like all Sphere Doomers will do, it'll try to suck you in, but it's not really that harmful at all. So come on, man. Spit out your little things. Oop. Bup, 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 bup. All right. Come on. Come on, man. You got this. Oh, so now it's trying to do combination. A combination of that. Well, too bad. It didn't work. All right. Get him. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, yo. Yo. All right, now it's gonna spit out that. There we go. And that's it. Stage two, two energy spheres are complete. And we get our little maximum tomato as a reward. Yay. Very nice. Very awesome. Very cool. Hi. <laughs> I always like to think that he's, that, you know, Kirby's like saying guy or hi or whatever. It's a thing. All right, two. I always get perfect timing on this. Watch my streak break <laughs> in the next video, seriously. And I believe that was Kirby doing a dab. See, Kirby was the original dabber long before any other anime did it. <laughs> because dabbing is a thing, apparently. Alright, so... Ooh, now we got the copy ability room one unlocked. Okay, I'll show that off when we clear the world. But either way, that will about do it for uh, this video. So, again, half a world, one video. So, next time on Kirby's Return to Dreamland, we're going to continue onward through Raising Ruins until we eventually reach all the way to here, because that's a preview of what's to come. Because that's what all world maps in Kirby are. Just things and not actual maps. Unlike what Triple Deluxe and Robobot did. I always like to mention those games because those games are great. Even though Robobot is probably like the second favorite, I guess. I have a very inconsistent thing with uh, Kirby games, okay? Rankings. But whatever. I'll see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.